A popular AEW star announces departure. A current WWE star upset with a bad taste set of Raw promos. And we've got a big update on Wrestle Kingdom following the COVID lockdown in Japan. We'll have more details in the wrestling news right now. Big Swole has departed AEW. Swole was one of, I remember when we sat at this very desk. It may not have been yourself. <laughs> Might not have been. Andrew, but we remember when we talked about Big Big Swole coming in and, and there was real high hopes for Swole mm. being part of AEW. There was a great program that she did with Dr. Britt Baker. Yeah. But then beyond that, I mean, there was obviously health issues as mm -hmm. well that hampered some of the progress there. And we now find ourselves at this point where Big Swole has put out uh, a message on Twitter uh, to announce that she has wrapped with AEW. She says, over the past couple of months, my life has taken on the mantra, grow, learn and change. Dealing with shadow work took strength I didn't know I had. I thank God for my loving family because they got me through some of the roughest months of my life. But I realized the real test is application. So I took my leap. And after speaking with TK and AEW hire officials, we've decided not to renew my contract with All Elite Wrestling. This was a hard decision, but a needed one. I am grateful for their understanding and that we could mutually come to this agreement. I've enjoyed my time with AEW and wish them all the best. I appreciate their love and welcoming me into the family. Today, yesterday, is my last day, and as bittersweet as it is, I am proud to say that I've lived my dreams while making a difference. That is Swole mentality. Sad to see Swole go. It is, it is indeed. You know, she was doing a lot of matches on Dark. I think the last one she has with, uh, she had, sorry, was with Ali Catch as well. Yeah. Which, uh, you know, what what an opponent as well. What a last <laughs> opponent to have in AEW. Bussy is fine. You, Bussy is fine, Bussy is fine. But yeah, um, um, do you know what? All the power to her for doing this and being like, I think it's time for me to move on, do mm. something different. Like, it's got to be hard for anybody going from a major company and then doing something else, you know? I think it's going to be interesting to see what happens with AEW over the next few months. We mm. talked to the news earlier this week about... Um, Kenny Omega and Cody Rhodes contracts mm -hmm. coming up for renewal. We know the Young Bucks have recently re-signed because a lot of guys who were with AEW from the beginning, they're now at a point where they can renegotiate yeah. and re-sign and stuff. And there's been obviously, it's it, you know, we've talked about it a lot. There's been an influx of new faces to AEW mm. and it's a wonder how many of those originals, those OGs, yeah. will, will stick and how many will do as Big Swole has done. And gone, mm. I'm just going to go and uh, find pastures anew. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be excited. I'm excited yeah, for it. Yeah, in very interesting times ahead, and we wish the best of luck to Big Swell going forward. I hope the, I hope she stays in wrestling. Yeah, I mean, me too. Real force to be reckoned mm -hmm. with. Real force to be reckoned with. Uh, talking about the releases uh, on WWE side of things, that was pretty much the order of the day on Monday Night Raw. Yeah. Weirdly, weirdly, a couple of promos that uh, stood out, in particular Edge's promo, in which uh, he references uh, Miz leaving to go and do TV shows. Was leaving yep. his friends high and dry to get fired. Uh, Liv Morgan talking about how you know Becky's big money contract means her friends aren't there anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful mentioned the mass releases when talking about Raw on Monday and yep. made quite an interesting little n note, didn't he? He did. Andrew? He did. He said it happened several times during the show and I had former WWE wrestlers, former producers and a current WWE wrestler that were all telling me how bad a taste they thought it was. Now, Sean didn't name the wrestler no. on current, currently on the roster, but I can imagine, yeah, it probably would hit a bit weird talking yeah. about something that's so very real. Very, very real and very, very, you know, it only happened, what, not that long ago, so it feels a bit, mm, it, it doesn't feel, it's definitely, I, I think it's definitely in bad bad taste. Um, mm -hmm. I think it was a response to, obviously, what we saw on uh, AEW with, um, you know, the yeah. uh, MJF and, and CM Punk too. I, I think there was a bit of response to that, and maybe they were kind of trying to, um, I don't know, like... But it's not the first time that WWE have done this. I think, no. I don't want us to all act like WWE have never referenced releases anymore. Mm. You know, CM Punk, of all people, was doing it in a contract signing. He was giving grief to Johnny yeah. Ace, talking about, oh, did you did you call so-and-so on the weekend? Did mm. you call Luke Gallows on the weekend? <laughs> oh, good luck in your future endeavors, pal. <laughs> so they've done it before. Yeah. And, and, and I think it's, it's them 
allowing people like Adam Copeland and Liv Morgan uh, to uh, address a big elephant in the room and mm. cut promos that are probably a little bit more a little bit more spicy than normal. I feel yeah. like this might be... I'd like to see WWE kind of go back to this point where it is a little bit more self-aware. Yeah. I, I mean, John Morrison was fine with it because John yeah. Morrison mentioned it on his Twitter and he was like, hey, Edge, mind yourself with the Miz. He's a good one. Yeah. Like, it, he didn't say that per se. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Like, so he's mm. fine with it, but I, obviously some weren't. Yeah. And, and and I think rightly so as well at the same time. It, it's, it's really difficult because I think, as you said, I think it's good that they kind of reference this and are self-aware about it because WWE, before in the past, I think they've definitely swept things under the rug a little bit. Mm. But at the same time, it you also seems... You feel like it's in bad taste. It's, it's weird because I... It's all right it, if you do. Well, There'll at the same time, I think at the same time, I do think it's good that they reference it. Another point is, though, it's the WWE writers that are probably addressing it more so than the wrestlers themselves just oh, ad-libbing okay. in there. You know what I mean? So, so you feels... don't think they would have had any say in, in wanting to reference it? I, yeah, I kind of think mm. that maybe they were just given the lines and they did it. I'm not sure. I don't know. I could be speculating. Hey, what, I could just what a be crazy idea with then. two people sat next to each other who have differing opinions I know, on it's something. crazy. And we but get we still on. like each other. Oh, I love you. Uh, that was those those promos, by the way, uh, the ones with Edge and Miz, mm-hmm. uh, that one in particular, um, this led to a few segments on Raw yeah. having a time mm-hmm. cut because they, they went a little bit longer. A little bit longer. A little bit longer. They were very good. I don't mind. Yeah, they were. A little bit longer. Uh, that's uh, a little bit of news that comes from PW Insider, that one. Thank you very much, Ooh. lads. Uh, we had another debut on NXT 2.0 last night. I think this is debut number 490. Uh, uh, Edris Inoffi made his NXT debut. This is uh, this is his first WWE match. Uh, well, his first WWE match was on 205 Live mm. two weeks ago. So this is his second WWE match. He's a former US Navy veteran who trained up at the pro wrestling school level up signed with WWE back in August this is them getting getting new faces on telly very yeah. quickly isn't it Either, yeah and those that haven't necessarily got that wrestling that full wrestling background mm. we know that you know Edris has, has trained at a pro wrestling school uh, but WWE are still keen to find people who are more um non-wrestlers yeah it, f- it feels very uh homegrown in the sense that they are bringing these people in and uh molding them into what they want to be the next superstars i guess you know we've seen especially with old nxt i think we've spoken about this on the news before they they brought people in who had already sort of been established on the indies and everything mm. and already made a name for themselves this feels very much like wwe going like let's rein that back now and let's try and create more people ourselves to push forward into a mid event scene the big thing with wwe at the moment is they're trying to get brand new eyes on on wrestling mm-hmm. on wwe so that's why they're bringing in people from like athletic backgrounds from sporting backgrounds away from wrestling backgrounds because yeah. you're going to you know you're potentially bringing in you know fa- you know people you know friends and family uh, 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 who who are big fans of the work of an of an off eight will come in. Uh, who may not have been wrestling fans to begin with. Yeah. And he'll convert them that way. It's the same way that, you know, there's radio stations that get pop stars to mm. host radio shows now as opposed to actual radio presenters. Yeah. You know, it's a way of getting new eyes, new ears on products. I totally get why they're doing it. Yeah. It's why, um, what's his face? He's voicing Mario in the Mario movie. Oh, Chris Pratt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Chris Pratt's going to voice us in the news before we know it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just going to happen. That'd be, what a time. <laughs> what a time that would be. Uh, still on NXT, still on NXT for this next one. So last night, MSK came face to face with the the Shaman. Ooh. So they've been on this road trip to find this spiritual guide. Mm. Um, there's been a handful of names thrown around for who the Shaman could be. Uh, the, the four that jumped out at me constantly was Trey Miguel, Velveteen Dream, John Morrison, and Rob Van Dam. Mm. Now, Trey Miguel is signed to uh, Impact. Uh, Dream and Morrison, ex-WWE now. Rob Van Dam, new WWE Hall of Famer on good terms with the company. Mm-hmm. Now, Tom, let me, I'm putting on, th- this is my, uh, my my speculation hat right here. Tom. It's a bit big, that speculation bit, everyone, hat. Everybody Mate, I don't know why you're wearing a, a speculation hat indoors. Mate, you ha- your speculation hat's too big. It's too big. It's- your speculation hat is distracting me from watching wrestling news. Unsubscribe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're, you're just saying what I was thinking. I'm saying what thinking. some people there are thinking. So, I see, yeah. I see, yeah. Another thing, right? Oh, here we 
go. <laughs> I, I see a few similar people in the comments. Yeah. I've got to stop looking. But there's literally people that watch always the end of the video and and and, and complain about the whole thing. But Here's an idea. If that's you, I see you with your with your little avatar. I see you. Don't watch. Watch something else. No, do watch. Do keep watching. Yeah, if you, you do. Still pay our bill, so that's good. So that's do a good keep show, watching, actually. Yeah, actually. stay watching and Thank stay you. angry. Stay very angry. Thanks. Keep coming back to watch, so in, then in we fact, get paid. In fact, when you when you've ang got angry at the end of this video, rewind it, watch it again. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Why get not? twice as angry. Get all your anger out. Come on, I get all your anger. Stand corrected. Out. Let me tell you about this right here. With your big hat. With my giant hat. Too Please big. tell me how big it is in the comments. Too big. If I love anything. it. I love Too it when big you do if that. anything. Um, <laughs> the noise in this segment when we see. The shaman. Right. You get the bow. Mm. Who's 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 theme starts Bow. with that? One of a kind. Ah. Da, da, da. They sound very very similar. If you listen, because I was like, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna see now mm. because I recall that noise, and I'm like, they are very very similar. So I am leaning in the camp of Rob Van Dam. I've literally tweeted this morning. Is this you, Rob Van Dam? <laughs> <laughs> That's my journalism for the day. <laughs> Um, obviously, we don't know that would be the case. I have a funny feeling that it will be just a new it's just, Yeah, probably. But whatever. Uh, uh, finally, some good news from Wrestle Kingdom. Uh, the new Japan president said, under the current rules, we do not expect any problems with foreign wrestlers entering the country on a regular basis. So this is after mm. Japan went into a new state of lockdown following concerns over the Omicron variant of COVID. He says, it's just that new entries are restricted to entry to Japan. Foreign wrestlers participating in regular tournaments have visas that allow them to work in Japan. So I've heard that those people will be treated as re-entering the country. Mm. I have confirmed this with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Osprey is also expected to come to Japan as scheduled and participate in the Tokyo Dome show. Osprey tweeted following this saying, Shingo can't stop me, Okada can't stop me, COVID can't stop me. Oh. January 5th, 2022, I'll be there. So there nice. you Nice. So the Wrestle Kingdom not being affected as we were concerned by yeah, earlier of course. in the week. Uh, that'll still very much be a thing. Plans going yeah. ahead for three nights. Looking forward to to Wrestle Kingdom. I'm looking forward to it. I was, I was wondering how this was going to play out because I know that Japan's got quite a strict uh, COVID routine if you're entering the country mm. and they put you in like an isolation hotel for two weeks and then make sure everything's all right and then off you go into the world again. So I'm, gl I'm really glad. I'm really glad because Wrestle Kingdom, from what we've seen, shaping up to be an insane, an insane show. Yeah. So I'm so glad that everything can go through. So New, yeah, I'm looking forward New to Japan it. versus Noah. Oh my, that is historical, historical. Historical and hysterical all at the same time. <laughs> uh, more news as we get it throughout the day at cultaholic.com and more news on this channel throughout the day as well. Keys, keys. Love you, bye.